Hello everyone, good morning. In this lecture, I am going to introduce the concept of uh, decision support system. We will discuss the definitions of uh, decision support system. Uh, according to Gordy and Scott Martin 1971, uh, DSS decision support system is uh, defined as an interactive computer based system uh, which is uh, designed to help decision makers utilizing data on models. We can solve uh, unstructured problems. Usually, unstructured problems are uh, uh, very complex problems uh, uh, which has uh, ambiguity uh, related to criteria to be. Uh, satisfied and uh, some parameters are unknown and uh, which is uh, really difficult to solve so such kind of problems um, to be solved and uh, according to uh, Keen and uh, Scott Martin 1978 so DSS is uh, defined as uh, a system that uh, couples individual behavior uh, individuals uh, uh, behavior or actions and uh, intellectual resources of individuals with the computer based system to improve the quality of decision. So it improves the decision making capability of uh, uh, individual uh, based on uh, uh, export knowledge and uh, other decisions uh, generated by the computer based system. So this system is very much useful for uh, management decision makers uh, who deal with uh, semi structure problem where uh, some criteria may be known, some uh, criteria or parameters may not be known while solving the problems. So this kind of uh, uh, problems can be uh, solved um, according to this definition. And uh, in the next slide, next slide we will uh, we'll discuss uh, how this uh, decision support system is uh, described as an important terminology in decision making problem. So, uh, this DSS uh, uh, supports decision making in an organization. For example, organization wide knowledge uh, uh, can be uh, very much uh, can be used to solve uh, decision problems. Uh, it may be uh, in the area of uh, marketing um, uh, or fin finance or accounting, manufacturing, planning, and other areas as well. Uh, for example, in marketing. So they can apply uh, uh, prediction uh, results to find out uh, which area would be uh, suitable for the upcoming product, and uh, also in finance uh, they can uh, understand the behavior of uh, uh, customers and profile of uh, organizations to improve the investment, and uh, similarly in accounting also you can. Uh, uh, decide the loan requirement of uh, different categories of people and it can improve manufacturing facilities by identifying weakest area and uh, also can improve uh, other uh, functions uh, within an organization. So, uh, a decision maker also can play a major role in uh, redefining some uh, and, and in the interesting function within an organization, they can also make necessary changes in the plan uh, based on the knowledge uh, acquired from the uh, decision making systems. Now, let us discuss how this can be uh, DSS can be a, a specific application. Uh, so, uh, this DSS uh, involves a process uh, for building a computerized uh, system. Uh, so this can be a, a customized application for specific needs within an organization maybe to solve unstructured problem or semi structure problem it can be customized according to the requirement of an organization so we have uh, several components in this uh, dss architecture we have data model knowledge user interface and uh, uh, putting together all these components so we can create a, a decision support uh, system and these components are loosely coupled uh, components uh, because these functional components are independent of each other. So these modules are independent. So this is the architecture of uh, high-level architecture of uh, decision support system. We have data component, 
uh, this comes from the external source or internal source we generate a uh, type of data necessary for the system and then models uh, created uh, by a statistical model or maybe a mathematical model it generates knowledge similarly the data oriented is also uh, generates uh, insights from the data and uh, uh, model oriented uh, uh, dss also will uh, generate some useful uh, knowledge for uh, decision making purpose finally the user interface uh, uh, provides uh, facility to uh, interact with the system so user can uh, view dashboards or uh, uh, give input and uh, see the results in different forms either in the form of graph or tables and so on and uh, next let us discuss uh, types of dss uh, we have two types of uh, decision support system the first one is uh, model oriented uh, decision support system the second one is data oriented decision support system the model oriented uh, decision support system is created by uh, using ai techniques artificial intelligence technique or machine learning or deep learning we create this system as a complex mathematical model or uh, as a statistical model to analyze the data and uh, we evaluate uh, different scenarios to understand pattern percent on the data and uh, this requires data to be processed and uh, the data to be transformed uh, to fit into the models for analysis and it supports strategic decision making maybe for forecasting the weather or forecasting the uh, event or forecasting um, the data for uh, uh, agriculture and other things and we can also give optimal solution to the problem we can also uh, create a simulation model to understand various scenarios for example in financial planning we can create a model that uh, uh, suggests a future plan and uh, investment uh, uh, banking and investment uh, sectors also utilize uh, this kind of uh, model oriented uh, uh, tools to uh, understand where they can invest and how they can improve the profit and uh, how they can minimize the risk and all. And simulation software are also used for uh, business uh, strategy and decision making. And uh, the next one is data oriented. Data oriented uh, decision support system utilizes data to support decision support uh, systems and it facilitates decision making and uh, it focuses on uh, retrieving the data storing the data and presenting data in a user friendly format the data may be presented in the form of uh, tables or graphs or in some pattern and decision uh, uh, support system also utilizes databases spreadsheets or data warehouses online analytical processing uh, tools or uh, maybe be a business intelligence tools uh, to uh, perform extract transform load operations it can deal with large amounts of data uh, it works with large amount of uh, structured data and uh, utilizes tools for uh, uh, passing query to the database and getting the response, extracting the data, reporting results in various uh, visual form uh, to understand patterns present the data or trends and relationships in the data. So this helps business organizations to uh, visualize uh, some critical aspects and understand the current scenario to make a better decision. Next, we will discuss uh, the key differences between uh, data oriented uh, decision support system and model oriented uh, decision support system. The main purpose of model oriented uh, decision support system is to focus on uh, creating a uh, mathematical model or a statistical model to gain insights from the data and uh, recommend necessary actions or necessary uh, features or necessary products to the user. Whereas uh, data oriented system mainly focuses on uh, presenting data in a meaningful way for decision makers. And coming to usage of models, model oriented uh, 
application support system relies on complex model for analysis and prediction, whereas uh, data oriented uh, application support system focuses on the ETR that is extract, transform, load operations using complex models without using complex models. And uh, coming to the complexity of this addition support system, model oriented DSS uh, is more complex because you have to create a mathematical model or statistical model. Uh, whereas uh, data oriented model is uh, simpler than model oriented uh, model and uh, it is user friendly and uh, uh, data oriented addition support system is uh, easy to access. And then uh, there is application of uh, model oriented uh, DSS is in the area for strategic decision making. It requires uh, maybe forecasting the results, forecasting the data for certain purpose, optimization, creating an optimization um, solution, optimal solution to the problem, or analyzing various scenarios to understand the customers or understand. Uh, the needs of the customer or needs of the organization and data oriented DSS is uh, very much useful for operational decision making or tactical decision making. It mainly relies on current trends and patterns. So next is the evolution of uh, DSS into business intelligence. The use of uh, DSS uh, has been moved from specialists to managers and other decision makers. So the tools, advancement of tools, uh, business intelligence tools and uh, data analytics tools help the designer and developers to uh, utilize tools like OLAP, data warehousing, data mining, intelligent systems using AI and uh, it enables them to deliver uh, web-based technology or uh, um, business intelligence solutions effectively. So business intelligence is evolved uh, as an uh, emerging term uh, based on uh, DSS and it combines various tools, databases, analytical uh, softwares and applications, other methodologies and uh, it can do different things to different people. It can generate meaningful results as well as uh, understandable easy to use models and provide business decision makers the ability to collect data and perform analysis on it and uh, transform the data into information and which in turn will be transformed into a knowledge or uh, useful insights for decision making problems so that's on this lecture thank you